It's hard not to ask yourself the question, when will some of these guys learn? Professional athletes make millions of dollars to play a child's game. You think that alone would be enough of an incentive to stay out of trouble. But time and time again, we see athletes making life altering decisions or mistakes where they simply just got lucky. That if you change one small variable within their situation, it can go a whole different direction. Rasheed Rice, wide receiver of the Kansas City Chiefs is the most recent example we've seen of that. Racing down a Dallas highway driving 119 miles per hour. Back in March, Rice caused a six vehicle crash that left seven people injured. Thank God nobody was killed and luckily there were no serious injuries. But we've seen this exact story play out again and again since the invention of motor vehicles it seems. Just a boneheaded decision that one can't seem to wrap their mind around. Not only are you putting your own life at risk, but you're making a conscious decision to not even care in the slightest about those around you as well. This comes just three years after Henry Ruggs tragically took the life of a woman after crashing into her vehicle at 156 miles per hour. Forget the fact that it ruined his career. Forget the fact that he had just thrown away generational wealth. This was a mistake that cost somebody their life and could have easily and should have been avoided. It was a PR disaster for the NFL and a story that lingered for some time. See, life is not only about learning from your mistakes, but you get ahead by learning from the mistakes of others as well. Rice clearly didn't do either of the two. You walk away from the situation with no one luckily hurt, and you assume the worst that could happen at this point would be a small suspension from the league or the team. If you were him, you'd lay low for a minute, trying not to get yourself in any more trouble as it is. But some people just think differently because Rice did the exact opposite. A little over a month later, Rice was the suspect of an assault of a man at a Dallas nightclub on May 6th. And boy, did he catch another break because the victim of the assault no longer wants to press charges against Rice. Which really means Rice's people wrote that check and it hit that man's bank account with the quickness. Coming off a great rookie season and a guy who emerged as the Chiefs number one wide receiver down the stretch. After losing Tyreek to Miami a couple years back and with Travis Kelsey on his way out the door soon, Patrick Mahomes is going to need somebody to throw the ball to. Rice came up big during the back half of the season and into the playoffs as he ended the season with 938 yards and seven tugs. You guys just won the Super Bowl and for the foreseeable future, you're about to be set up to be the number one wide receiver for one of the best quarterbacks of all time. All you gotta do is not mess that up. Like look, I'm trying to catch Brady and I can't do that if my number one wide receiver is suspended because he wanted to go smack somebody up after the club. That's the thing though with these athletes who are making generational wealth type money. It's no longer just about you. Your decisions and your actions affect those close to and around you as well. But again, these guys get this money, they get this fame, and they start to feel invincible. The first mistake in the car accident is one thing. Everybody makes mistakes and we've all had moments where we look back and we're like, man, that could have been bad. So I'm not here to be the moral police. But we can't defend you when you not only make one boneheaded decision, but you go ahead and make another one almost immediately after. Because at that point, you're just playing with people's intelligence. To me, that just shows blatant ignorance. You think you're larger than life itself, and at some point, you just run out of luck, and the world will always find a way to humble you real quick. Ruggs didn't get any chances. He made one mistake that proved to be extremely costly. Life is interesting that way. It seems to give some more chances than others. Rice has luckily now gotten a second and a third chance. We saw it with Ja Moran. Bro was on his way to being the face of the NBA and lead the league into this new era of players. Instead, he decided to make what seemed like just a wave of horrible decisions, and his career took a little bit of a detour because of it. Now don't get me wrong, Ja waving a gun on IG Live isn't nearly as bad as you racing your mans down a highway going damn near 120 miles per hour. But it's the principle of having everything right in front of you and you being willing to throw that all away because you don't know how to learn from your previous mistakes. Being suspended the first 25 games of the season and then suffering a season ending injury shortly after his comeback, Ja's career trajectory definitely took a different hit. Now instead of being the face of the league and having to solely focus on basketball, he had to focus on getting back into the good graces of the league and sponsors as well. Ja Morant was and still could be the NBA's darling a young, high-flying, extremely exciting player who was very marketable. Morant got in trouble and Anthony Edwards said, yep, I'll take that, and you can see where the league's focus has shifted. Goes back to my point about how your mistakes affect more than just you. The NBA is gearing up for the departure of Bron. They're trying to find his replacement as far as the new face of the league. So they don't have time to play these games. They are gonna go right to the next person who will gladly take that spot. Cam Newton said it best in reference to Rasheed Rice. He basically said bro just needs to go somewhere and sit down because as untouchable as you feel, the NFL doesn't need you. 
These are billion dollar companies. Anything damaging to their brand and they will just toss you to the curb, especially in the NFL. So it's surprising to me when players act like the NFL needs them. Antonio Brown became the biggest star within the NFL and then he started acting as if the league couldn't do without him. And for a little bit, his talents overshadowed all the BS. But even for a legend, it got to a point where the league as a whole just spit him out. And if that can happen to one of the best wide receivers to ever touch grass, what does Rice think they'll do to him? Hopefully this is the last we hear of Rice in any negative light. Assuming that he's finally learned his lesson, he can now put his focus back on what really matters.